So, I realize I haven't made a video in forever, um, but it's almost Christmas and I wanted to make a book review on this awesome book that I read. Published in 2016, it is called What Light by Jay Asher. So the basic plot of this book is that a girl named Sierra and her family live most of the year in Oregon on a Christmas tree farm. And every year from Thanksgiving to Christmas, they travel down to California to sell all their trees. Then one year, possibly their last going to California, Sierra meets this boy with a really haunting past and she ends up starting to fall in love with him. And she really starts to feel her heart being torn between her life in California and her life in Oregon. So basically it's all about this family and Christmas time and cheesy romance and teen drama and people trying to escape their past and looking towards the future and it's just amazing. It's a wonderful Christmas story and I absolutely loved it and I highly recommend it. So now to the review part of this video. What I thought worked about it and what I really liked about it was the character development of the main character and her love interest I thought was really interesting and really well done and thought out. It deals with certain topics that most young adult romance novels don't really focus on such as having a traumatic past. I'm not going to give it away because it's a big plot point but I found it really interesting and new. The Christmas tree farm premise was really fun and exciting and different. The style of writing flows really nicely so it makes it a nice quick read too, which is great. I love how relatable and unique the love interest past is because while I don't have the exact same past, I have similar problems in my past and I thought it was great to see a book about someone changing from their past self and trying to escape one day of their entire life that has now started to define them and I just really love that. I think it's very powerful and very meaningful. So what didn't work and what I didn't really like, I thought certain parts of the novel were a little rushed into and a little forced. It didn't entirely all seem believable to me. But that said, it is still a YA romance novel, so you kind of have to accept that that's going to happen in the book anyway. So all in all, I still really enjoyed it, but that is one thing that kind of bugged me throughout reading the book. The other thing is that I felt like the timeline was really muddled. Sierra keeps saying that they only have a couple weeks left in California throughout most of the book, which I thought was odd because then all of a sudden it's they're leaving tomorrow and it just seemed very prolonged and then all of a sudden very rushed and that I thought was a little off but that could also just be how the author was trying to present how Sierra feels is that that's just how time is progressing for her during this vacation during this time in California, slowly and then suddenly. Still, I found it a little distracting. The last thing is that I thought that the friends' characters were not very well developed. The relationships between the characters were well developed, but the characters, they seemed rather shallow through most of the book, even though they were, Sierra's clearly very close friends with them. And Sierra does not come off as very shallow. Overall, I really enjoyed the book and highly recommend it to anyone who would like a Christmas Hallmarky channel type of book to read this Christmas time. I'm definitely keeping it on my shelves to read for next Christmas. I will rate this book overall, I think, a 3.5 out of 5 because I did enjoy it, I did really love it, but it had some clear flaws in it, which is why it doesn't get that 4. And if you've been watching my videos, you know it's very hard to get a 5 out of 5 for me. But that's all for now. I hope I will see you soon. Um, if I don't see you before Christmas again, then happy holidays and I hope you all are well until the next time I see you.